Okay, welcome back to percussion. Well, fly by the seat of your pants percussion anyway. Um, I left you at the end of the last video with this loop. Oh. As has been noticed already, it is a very odd loop. Strange outcome, but this video is about or these two videos are about um, process, if you like. I just wanted to show you things that you can do to perhaps excite or jazz up your drums a little bit. It's not as if I would use this loop in a track. It's obviously not um, usable. Uh, but there's some other things I wanted to show you, so let's go on with it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another audio track. Um, I'm going to call that Mix Down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to export this lot as an audio loop. And I'll bring it back in. Yeah, okay. And what this will do is it, it, it will allow me to mess around with it some more. So. Okay, so now we have that. Let me just make this a wee bit bigger. Right, I'm going to cut this uh, on the beat. Right, so now what I can do is I can have this playing in conjunction with this if I wanted to. So, for instance, I could maybe mute it all. Um, no, tell you what, let's just ignore the MIDI for the time being. So we've created a little loop. So now what I can do is just change the loop around if I want. I can have it on different audio channels as you've seen there with different effects on it if I wanted to. So I could have that there. Um, maybe just mute that one there and then maybe we could come to here, pop that down there, maybe reverse that one. Uh, so let's right. Let's check out what can we do to uh, audio two here. Uh, where is it? Okay, let's add some effects to that. So. Really, I could add some of the send effects if I wanted. Get some delay in there. Okay, let's undo that one, but reverse this one. New version. And let's take a little bit more time and try and get some of these a bit more decent. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm just messing around. You can do whatever you want. You can chop them up. This is, I guess, how you make glitch. But I've got an easier way to make glitch than that. I'm going to add an effect onto my uh, master. Any effect. You can add anything you want, really. I'm going to use reactor. And I'm going to use fast effects. And now what I'm going to do is automate fast effects so so let's go
Okay, as you can see, I'm just messing around with that. So I'll just take the loop off because I don't really want it doing anything. I don't want it looping back on itself. Put the right on. And let's go. Okay, so let's see what that automation, right, okay, that automation was a little bit better. So what I'm going to do now is export it again. Okay, and just export that. Right, so now what I've got is loads of stuff to work with. So let's just delete this one. No, delete the track, mate. That's it. So now... Okay, so we've got some nice stuff going on, there's loads of stuff, so let's just try and pick some decent stuff here. So that's quite nice. So let's get rid of that, we'll keep that. Right, I like that bit there as well. I'm not really mad on any of that stuff, but I'll mute it. It could be messed around with later. And I'll get that bit there. So let's see what this bit is. Okay, there's a whole host of stuff going on there that can be used. Okay, so you've got Okay, so we've got some cool what was this last bit? Okay, I screwed that cut up. That should be there. Um I don't think we wanted that, did we? So, and then I've got this. Okay, so what, we, what we've got here is bits that we can use in conjunction with everything else, you know? So, of course it's going to sound absolutely mental. So what we would do is the bits that we want, obviously because that's a, a MIDI note, it needs to be cut like that, and uh, let me just do these other ones first, so I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll do that, and I'll do that, I can mute all of these ones. Mute that there, mute that there, and then we need this one to start again from there. There is shorter and easier ways of doing this. Again, you could do it all in audio, but I'm just showing you the ways I like doing it. Right, so just for this little first section here, we've now got this.
Okay, so these these aren't really doing much. Um, it could be because there's stuff there already, or it might just be that it's not turned up loud enough or whatever. But um, because that was the that was the that's the delay, isn't it? The delayed. So let's just try. Cutting these out again. Okay, they're not that great. I don't know if I would use them. I'll leave that one in. Just for an excuse for it to be there, I guess. Okay, now this one looks pretty weird. I cut that wrong again. Or is it just... Ah, uh, wait a minute, what's going on here? It's me being a lunatic. Right, that's better. So again, we need to do the same thing here. Just drop that there so I know where to draw this back to. Obviously, if we're going to keep all of this stuff in, what is it? Okay, yeah, we've got these bits. Um, maybe this last one here will be of some use to us to introduce, like a break, you know. Something else is about to happen. I'm not sure. These two would be useful, but not at the moment. And I guess for this bit here, we need all of this muted. Right, let's hear it. So there you go, that's just another little kind of quick manipulation of um, the percussion that we already had. Now, there's loads of things you can do, you can, you can then, you can come in and you can start messing with these, you can start just picking little bits out and adding them in, bit crushing them, adding delays, reverbs, um, picking specific bits out that you can use for things like gated reverbs or oh, a whole host of stuff let's see if we can do something with this I just want to listen to this now see you could theoretically just really start to screw with things here. Um, reverse. Resample. That didn't, that didn't make any difference. But you get my drift, you can do whatever you like. Um, time stretch. So. so 
So I've got that, I've just processed that. I can maybe do that twice there. I don't know what this is going to sound like. Now what these might be good for is a little <coughs> just a little indication that something's going to happen there. Um, so as you can see, obviously I would expect you to spend more time on this than I am. Uh, reverse that. Maybe on this, you could add some, uh, I don't know, some plug-in effect. process that. So what does that sound like? So again, you can maybe have that playing underneath, but you get my drift, right? You understand what I'm saying? Hopefully. Scottish accent probably doesn't help. Right, and probably for these bits, we'd want to cut out uh, the bit of drum that it's um, messing with, I guess. Oh. Okay, so I've tidied it up a little bit. I've chopped bits out, left bits in, blah, blah, blah. And this is what we've got. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right, okay, yeah. So, not the best loop in the world, but you get the drift. Um, you can do so many different things. Um, I was going to show you um, sidechain reverb and sidechain delay in this video as well, but I think there's enough information in this already. I'll do another one about that. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Um, any questions, fire me an email. Cheers.